In today's video, we're going to keep exploring in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan uh, with a look into Meiji Shrine. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanderers. My name is Jeff, and on this channel, I give you ways to deepen your travel experience, hopefully access otherwise inaccessible situations while traveling abroad, specifically in Japan. If you are new to the channel, I currently live in Japan, and so I make videos on you know travel vlogs, food vlogs, kind of how to get around Japan. Uh, and while I really enjoy getting to the more obscure parts, one of the really important things I feel like is when you're coming here for the first time, you're still gonna wanna see some of the big touristy areas and being able to navigate those places, how to get in and around them um, can just lower your stress and give you a way to uh, kind of give you the, the space and the energy to try and find some of the more um, obscure and off the beaten path places. And so today we're gonna to explore uh, Shibuya. Uh, this is gonna be a three-part series uh, where I show you Shibuya Station and then I show you uh, different parts of Shibuya that I quite enjoy, kind of how to get around, what to look for, what not to uh, go to and, and all that stuff. So if you like Japan content, if you like content on language or even on Korea as I was living in Korea before, uh, definitely consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the content that I put out uh, every single week. And um, yeah, let's just get to the video. Shibuya. And then going from Shibuya Station to Meiji Jingu, which is where we are going today, uh, very easy. The walk, it's definitely walkable. I mean, you could take a train if you wanted to, but it's not really necessary. It's only about a 15-minute walk going from the Hachiko statue that we ended at in my last video. Um, so if you haven't seen that, check that video out. But it's a fairly peaceful walk, and um, you literally run right into Meiji Shrine. So... Uh, it's pretty hard to miss. And that is Meiji Shrine. Meiji Jingu. here in Meiji Jingu, uh, which is a shrine dedicated to Emperor Meiji. Uh, although, and this is like one of my favorite places in Tokyo, um, although it is very touristy. In fact, my teachers have said that like, no one comes here except for tourists, like no actual Japanese people come here, which I'm sure is not entirely true, but apparently this is just a major touristy spot. So. I definitely think it's a, a must go to, especially if you're here in the summertime and you're visiting Shinjuku. Uh, it's a nice place to get out of the sun because it's all shrouded in really, really big trees. Um, there's a bunch of things to see. There's a shrine, but it's mostly just somewhere to walk around. And if you want to do a picnic, you can go to Yogi, which is literally right next to the shrine itself. So um, I'm just going to show you around here and then from there, Probably haven't decided yet. Probably head from there to Yoyoki, Yoyogi to Harajuku, Harajuku to Omokesando, but we'll see. Um, yeah.
All right, so that right there, the last place we were just in, um, is the actual shrine itself. Uh, so you go through this whole park and um, up to that shrine, which is for, again, as I mentioned, Emperor uh, Meiji. Uh, the Meiji Restoration was um, for, was a period when Japan kind of went through this huge modernization um, a couple centuries ago. And so he is, um, a pretty important figure in history. It's really cool too, because this park is free. That shrine is free. It was actually really cool. There was a wedding um, that was going through. So it looks like uh, people are still having traditional Japanese weddings at Meiji Shrine. You can only imagine how much it costs, but, uh, but uh, I thought it probably wasn't the politest to film, even though they were in a very public place. Uh, so I didn't film that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna walk out now to Harajuku and Omote Sando and Yoyogi. Yoyogi is more just like a huge park. You'll see a little bit of it, but um, and then wrap this vlog up. Um, yeah, so let's head to the next place. series on Shibuya uh, focusing on Meiji Shrine. I hope you enjoyed it. Meiji Shrine is one of my favorite places in Tokyo. I know it's like super, it's very touristy. Apparently mostly tourists go to Meiji Shrine, but it's a really beautiful place. I hope you get to try, uh, I hope you get to see it when you visit Tokyo because it really is beautiful. Um, in the next video, we're going to get into a couple other parts of Shibuya uh, to wrap up this three-part series. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, it really helps me. Let me know in the comments if there's something that I missed or if there's something I could have done better or if you just enjoyed it, let me know. Um, if you enjoy content on Japan, if you like Asia content, uh, language content, any of that stuff, uh, definitely consider subscribing as I put out videos every single week. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Let's just keep being empathetic, keep wandering, keep spreading positivity. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.